Oftentimes when the idea of vegetarianism and veganism are brought up and they are brought up as a means to creating a more peaceful world, people say to me, there's so much suffering happening with human beings. There is a war going on in Syria. There is a war going on in Afghanistan. There is a war going on in Iraq. There is a war going on all throughout the world. I don't have time to worry about the animals. One thing that often comes to mind when I hear this is a quote from the great philosopher and mathematician Pythagoras. He said, for as long as men massacre animals, indeed they will continue to slaughter each other. For one who sows the seeds of fear can never reap joy. We think of what is on our plate as separate, as disconnected from each and every other aspect of what we do. But it is the most intimate aspect of our connection with the world around us. It is when we take this world that is external and we put it inside our body and it becomes the cells and tissues of our body. We do it three times a day, some of us more, some of us less. The power is exponential. There is a process of killing. Somebody cannot kill unless they have created an other, meaning you, it is difficult to kill somebody you love, somebody who's dear to you, somebody that you relate to. In war, the first thing that a country does is turn the other into a villain. They create a propaganda scheme that turns another person into a ruthless dictator, unworthy of compassion or kindness. And we do the same propaganda campaign and we wage it against the animals. We call them stupid, dumb, or unworthy of love, they're dirty. And in so doing, we become more capable of killing them because they have become other than us. Perhaps it is time to recognize that killing is killing, and when possible, it should be avoided. And it is almost always possible. So please think about this the next time you sit down to choose your meal. Don't ask somebody else to kill for your taste buds. Don't ask somebody else to kill so that you can have oil to drive in your car. The number one user of petroleum products in this world is the meat and dairy industry. The number one mechanism for getting those resources is war. Make the connection.